Matsuo Teisha Shrine, Suzumushi Temple, Kyoto in fresh green season. I want to come here in the second half of April. It is the season when mountains are the most beautiful. This is Matsuo Teisha Shrine with M. Matsuo behind it. Matsuo Teisha is just in front of Henkyu Matsuo Teisha Station. Let's go through the Tori Gate now. The cherry blossom season has passed. Now it is an impressive fresh green season. The reason I got to know this shrine was a novel, Kura, written by the female writer, Tamiko Mieo. The main character was a girl named Retsu. She was in danger of being blind when she was a teenager. It is a story of the heroine who has a hard fate and the love of her family. Kara was a newspaper serial novel. It was serialized in the newspaper every day from 1992 for about one year. That time newspapers were delivered to every house every day. I had almost no interest in newspaper serialized novels. But this novel was special. As soon as I woke up in the morning, I took the newspaper from the mailbox and started the day with reading the novel. Matsuo Teisha Shrine appeared in the story. That's where the main character decided her way of life. I wonder when I first visited here. I forgot when it was. But I remember being excited to think that I was looking at the same scenery as the main character. I just passed through the gate to the precincts. You can see the main hall in front. Now Yamabuki flowers are in full bloom. They bloom from the middle of April to the beginning of May. A small river is flowing through the precincts. Both banks of the river are decorated with yellow flowers. Matsuo Teisha enshrines the god of Japanese sake. The main character Retsu, whose family business was a sake brewery in Nagata Prefecture. She came here to ask the god if she could take over the family business though she was a woman. There were many things that women could not do before the end of the Second World War. <laughs> there is a small sake museum in the precinct. The inside is like this. I want to try this barrel fortune telling someday. There is also a ring called Dohyu, where sumo wrestling is performed. Rice will be planted here and it will be a paddy field next month. I leave Matsuo Teisha and head to the next destination, Suzumushi Temple. Suzumushi means bell ringing insects. It is one kilometer southwest of Matsuo Teisha. It is a 16 minutes walk at slow pace. I will go along the mountain while looking at the fresh green on the right. The mountain is very close and the beauty of the mountain makes me happy. On the way, I look at the river and I see Yamabuki flower closely. When you come here in the first half of April, you can see this river beautifully covered with fallen pink petals from these cherry trees. Turn to the right and you can see the entrance of Suzu Mushi Temple. Arrived. When I go up the cool stairs with moss, there is a line to listen to the monks talk. A lot of suzumushi are kept in the temple. The monks talk to visitors in the room where insects are ringing. A sweet was given. I walk in the garden after listening to fun talk by the monk. You can hear the sound of suzumushi. This temple started keeping suzumushi after the World War II. 
It is because that the eighth chief monk enlightened while hearing the insect ringing. It is also said that he thought that the ringing of Suzumushi would heal the mind of people who had been damaged because of the war. Or he may have been a person who loved science. However, the biggest attraction of Suzumushi Temple is a charm that fulfills a wish. Many people from all over Japan come to get that charm. It is a charm of the Zizo called Kohoku Zizo, or Happiness Zizo, standing at the entrance of Suzumushi Temple. Ordinary Zizo is barefoot, but the Zizo here wears straw sandals and fulfills people's wishes. This is the charm. We make a wish with the manners written on this paper. If we make a wish to the charm according to the manners every day, that wish will come true. It's a wonder. This temple was introduced on TV more than 40 years ago and became very popular. It has been popular since then. We can hope only one thing for a charm. When the wish comes true, we will come here to thank for the Zizo. Listen to the interesting talk of the monk in the room where Suzumashi are ringing and get a new charm again. It is said that those who believe will be saved. To thank Zizo who fulfilled my wish and to see the beautiful fresh green mountains of Kyoto. I want to visit Kyoto again next spring.